Hello, Nathan Leonard here with another video for you. Something different today. I just want to talk you through this pedal board that I've just put together for a run of gigs I've got coming up. And this is pretty typical for my type of signal chain and how I approach it. So just wanted to share with uh, you a few ideas and uh, maybe it'll help you just calibrate your own sounds for whatever gigs you've got going on. Uh, so for me, less is best. And I find having that smaller real estate uh, gets me thinking about, you know, the perfect version of each tone that I'm looking for and just gives me less to think about mid song. And when I'm playing in real time and I'm doing a lot of improvising and that sort of thing, I like having a few moods and a few go to sounds, which are really just one click away. So uh, I'm not worrying too much about loopers or anything like that with this one. I just have it in front of my microphone stand and I can just reach down and uh, see very easily in my peripheral and just bounce off the uh, the stomp boxes there to get whatever tone that I'm looking for. So I used to have really big boards and you know for me the load in and uh, just the real estate that I'm taking up on stage and if something goes down it's like trying to figure out you know where in the signal chain you know something is faulty and how I can fix it up and all of that mid gig and for me you know the more I've played over the years kind of the smaller my pedal board has got um, so anyway uh, just starting off with the tuner there you know they're all good uh, this one works nicely the poly tune from TC because if I strum across all six strings it's giving me an idea of where I am sharp and flat, if at all, uh, or it just works like a regular tuner, one string at a time, and true bypass on that one as well. This is the Boss OD3, uh, which I've just got hip to off a few YouTube videos with, uh, you know, Justin Derrico, and uh, it's just been doing the rounds on my social media, and so I just picked one up, and um, yeah, I'm really loving it. It's uh, very ampy, uh, just sounds nice and transparent, superimposed against my uh, amps. And for me, this one is just getting me to that edge of breakup tone, um, which on a lot of my gigs, you know, and I'm really playing with a Fender Deluxe uh, or a uh, Marshall JTM 45, the 20 watt studio combo. I've just picked that up and they, they both do a similar thing for me. Uh, I just kind of set them as a clean pedal platform. Uh, but because a lot of my gigs are sort of with volume conscious sound guys and that sort of thing, um, I can't really push the amp to get to that edge of breakup sound that I would normally like to. And so this one is letting me uh, get to that point um, without pushing the volume of the amp, uh, you know, to an offensive decibel level. And so for me, the dynamic range on my guitar is quite important. So I, I want that crunchy rhythm tone if I'm wide open on the volume control or if I, you know, dial it back a little bit, then it just cleans up nicely for me. And so that pedal there is just serving that purpose beautifully. Um, the other thing that's a consideration for me uh, there in that first uh, gain stage is just having quite a wide open EQ. Uh, this one is just sort of um, massaging the edges of the frequency spectrum and just giving me that break up on the top end and it feels a little mid scooped, but it's not too packed in there in those mid frequencies, um, which is why I've got this one um, as my lead tone. So that's the uh, Mythos Pedals Olympus. And uh, I'm not sure exactly what it is based on the circuit, but it's somewhere clonish, somewhere tube screamer-ish. It just has that real pointed uh, mid spectrum. And for me, that's giving me my solo voice. Um, and it's stacking nicely with the EQ of that one, which is just sort of giving it a hug around the sides. And then this one is just giving me that focus uh, and sustain and just that nice gain stage in the middle, which just helps me poke out for my, uh, for my solo moments. And so that one might change depending on, you know, my mood. And I've been playing around with these now. I've got the Way Huge Green Rhino, which is great screamer circuit. And I love just the added EQ. I can add the bass and uh, for me, I usually have the drive uh, almost off and um, just pushing the, uh, the front end of the amp with the volume and just stacking a little bit of gain in there. But for me, the philosophy is the same as that this is kind of my pointed lead tone and uh, that's usually stacked with a, uh, you know, sort of a, a wider spectrumed uh, overdrive such as this or, you know, the Nobles. And, uh, you know, I've been meaning to get an original Nobles for quite a while, uh, but they're just out of reach now. And, um, you know, I'd have to sell a guitar just to buy a pedal. 
And then I'm just not quite sure about throwing that sort of money at a photo on Reverb. Um, and apparently they're all quite different. I've had a few you know, people tell me that. Um, so I liked the way this felt and, uh, and sounded um, in, the, uh, in the pedal demo room. And so I've just picked that one up. And so for me, the Noble Screamer is uh, about near enough that I need to satisfy my curiosity for the Noble Circuit. Um, and I've had the Nordland ODR in the past as well, which is also cool. Uh, and even the reissue Nobles are quite nice um, also. And so that one might replace the Mythos. And then I've also got the Wampler Euphoria, um, which I'm just looking for something with a little bit more push, a little bit more compression and sustain, especially if I'm doing more slide guitar stuff. Uh, I'm really liking this one, all stacked with that uh, OD3 from Boss. So for me, the, the way those gain stages work uh, is just having that, you know, first point, and then that's for all my rhythm guitar and, you know, crunchy rock rhythm stuff. And then this one here is my solo tone. And so I'm usually popping that on uh, for my eight bars of, uh, of glory. And so that might be switched out for the Euphoria or the Green Rhino. Uh, just stacking after the OD3. But I'm finding with the Noble Screamer um, that I'll use that as my first stage of gain. Still leaving the OD3 where it is. And then I'll kick that on for my solo tone, which is just superimposing something nice over the top of the uh, ODR and just kind of adding to the saturation and the sustain of that one. So yeah, I just find that's how it's working best. If that pedal's sort of going on, uh, then I'll leave the OD3 off and sort of use that for my gain moments. And then I'll add that as a solo boost. Uh, but with the Green Rhino, the Euphoria and the Mythos, uh, they're all coming in, you know, after that's been engaged there. Um, and then this is all the trail stuff, right? So the Boss TR2, uh, I've tried every tremolo pedal there is, <laughs> well, almost, um, you know, and they're all great for different reasons, but for me, the way this just works with the amp, um, it's a simple design and I don't need the harmonic vibrato or that kind of stuff on top. Uh, for me, I've just always come back to that Boss tremolo. I've bought several of them over the years and I'll, I'll stray and I'll try something different and then I'll come back to this one and it's, uh, yeah, it just always hits the sweet spot for me in terms of that tremolo, which is kind of the only modulation effect that I'm really using uh, in this setup. And then the uh, Brigadier Strymon, which has been customized by my son. Uh, and, you know, probably my favorite delay. I haven't tried the Capistan. I really liked the Dig when I had that as well. Uh, so Strymon for delays, you know, just the user experience for me. I've gotten so used to that and uh, it's just really gig friendly. And this one is, you know, either always on or on a low mix or I'll bring it up for those spacey moments there. And so they're my, you know, magic settings <laughs> for those who care. And I also like being able to run stereo out into two amplifiers if I'm, you know, feeling a little indulgent. And when I do that, it might just be with the Fender Deluxe and the small uh, Box AC4 you might be able to see in the back there. Those ones stack quite nicely. Um, or I used to have the Box AC30 and the Fender Super Reverb, that sort of thing. There's only a handful of venues that I can get away with that sort of setup. Um, but yeah, really quick stereo out. Um, which sounds glorious to me on stage and hopefully that's translating to the audience as well in their appreciation. But uh, yeah, so that's kind of my usual setup for a throw and go gig board, that kind of thing there. Um, I do like the one spot from True Tone as well. And I've just got all that uh, sort of tidied up with some cable management there, thanks to um, Pedal Empire here in Brisbane. Uh, so hopefully that's useful too. If you have any questions, let me know. And uh, yeah, see you for the next one.